Raga Muffin, first and foremost, my wife say, you don't know, big up to the whole of Jamaica, Happy Independence Day, Jamaicans, global, yard and abroad, I say big up on yourself, man, love and respect. Are you truly independent though? Question mark. Anyhow, we can move on into what we really come to talk about, I'm saying it's a very interesting topic, very, very interesting topic, and a lot of people's speculations on the street right now, I said that the Vibes Cartel that was released from prison is not the real Vibes Cartel, but is a clone. Okay, let's put it into perspective, people. Cartel. How are your death? How are your death, my dad? How are your death? Cartel at the teach. How are your death? Cartel. Them say you just get really, really sassy a cartel for the beat. Then tell me say you just come home. You come back to take back the truth. But me know how that is a clone Me say that is a clone You take me dumb You bitch I don't wanna be a snitch But me have to talk the truth That is not to you Yo we'll be blood clapped on here The cartel fans I'm sorry to disappoint y'all But that just not look like cartel That not look like the teacher From the minute me see the man with the buckle Me say bro you know since I'm a clone and a teacher And I say I'm a clone and a god because that just don't look like him. You remember when Tamili come out, even though Tamili have on the weight and whatever, you could have distinctively tell that Tamili is part of that. Because they must say him have on weight and they must say him, him, him have the disease. So, it don't look like him. But in all honesty, it really doesn't look like him to me. And it, it never sound like him. And probably if you watch the movie when him, they clone Tyrone, it might change your whole perspective of everything. Like, them never just tell me something, so I'm just showing up my show like that. Yeah, give me the right evidence and hardcore truth. But, I don't know, from the moment I see the video, I say on a cartel this. So, let me know, guys. Does it? Do you think it's really Vibes Cartel or do you think it's just a cheap clone? Because, despite the fact that we don't know certain things with them, but go on with, we are way too technologically advanced for me to just believe certain things. So. And this is just my perspective and my opinion. Probably when him start do some rounds and you know him start hit the gym and him back in them element, we can't say yeah, the god return, but for now, and I can't tell that. And that look like him to me. Watch oh all I wanna. I go spend on hard earned money. Claim say when I go a cartel concert. Go watch the clone perform because if that a cartel me then me not like at this point I'm a ghost at that tone because that are no cartel unless I let them let him out for dead because what am I looking at what am I looking at even the man voice different that's not cartel honey and I don't care what nobody say I know these things for all we know, Cartel is still in a prison. Our Cartel been died. And they don't want us to know because they don't want the uproar. So they say, okay, let's just let out somebody who look like Cartel. Well, not even look like, because that don't look like Cartel, a bomber rascal. That the person that look like everybody that Cartel have been accused of analyzing, put together. Lizard, Nonopus, Crocodile. That don't. That, that. And if you know what he's saying, come out of jail with this little white woman from inside. Who is she? You don't think I shot any kids and we don't go for him? Who is that lady? I don't know if you use a brain now. I don't know if you use a yard them. Because God no gear yard for just fasten up people's business. God gear yard if you see the Bible say, who have ears, let them hear. And who have eyes, let them see. Because that's not a cartel. Me, would I spend my money if you go watch that? Perform me? You must be bomber clad mad. You is bomber clad mad. I don't know if you boycott any concert for them say cartel I go have. Because I ripped them a rip off the man name. Yeah man, breaking news. Them have a um, clone machine in Jamaica where they use a clone people. Certain artists and people, watch out, watch out. Because them are clone people in real life, you hear that? I use them, I use the man name to make big money. 
No one said the man either dead or not come out of prison ever. Me no business, me no care who no one call me conspiracy theories. Me no care, me never rang yet. Me never rang on a cartel. That's not a cartel. If that's a cartel, it's my ghost attack to you now, right now. Yeah, people. Just finish my morning workout, you know. Good half for one thing, you know. Can't do overdo it yet. Take it in stride. You know we say fitness and family, though. Yeah, man, God is the greatest. All right, here we go, people. Let's reason about this. All right. If you don't born before the year 2000, remember, say, you might not know cartel looks all too well. Because first of all, you have to remember that um, Vibes Cartel hasn't looked like himself since the coloring book era. See? So from the man say coloring book, him did done transform already. So somehow no member the coloring book cartel from 20 years ago or 25 years ago, however long it was. But you have to remember that people change over time. So we're going to support whatever side you know, I feel like on the pan for me to just reason and think about what I really say. Okay, and just kind of analyze it from a different perspective. So young people, remember so before 2000 cartel the dark skin, never bleach out. So cartel they look totally different from what you think him look like as a bleach out cartel. Plus the makeup on me that talked about from my last video. There is makeup in the entertainment world where artists put on them little smooch, smooch and them thing there. Now, all type of things are being said, but you know what I'm saying, as far as the clone thing, when you can look and see for yourself that this is the vibes cartel where they are going right now. If it's not the real cartel, well, back to question, you know what I'm saying? But I left that for one for the side, each individual. Me now go tell us you're wrong, all right. See, all I can tell you is that cartel never looked like himself before going to prison. Because I'm saying, did I bleach and I do a whole different thing with the tattoo, the coloring book style of, you know, appearance and image. Image did change. You don't have to remember these things too. So, just kind of look back at the different changes and looks of cartel. And you used to say, him never even looked like himself when you see him and I say, that is Vibes Cartel. That is not what Vibes Cartel looked like before in the 90s or 95, 96, 97. You can look at Adija Palmer in the 96, 97, 98 before bleaching and see what the real vibes cartel look like before the coloring book version what you know come on so the coloring book him color himself up you know, and change up you know, bleach up everything you know style everything look trim up all yeah bro one bag of thing going on people yeah you know, i would not even know the depths and, and the levels of changes were going on and you know, i tell you the truth you know from the man say um 33 degrees i even you know. <laughs> But the man say the mace now there you know, and gone that way that you know, we not too know what changes make. So me not judge the individual, nor judge the individual where I judge and criticize. That is where me there upon the thing. I'm just a reasoning person where just reason upon things and you know have a perspective on things. So you can look at it from a different angle instead of just a point and I say, wait, you can think and say maybe or well maybe not. You get what I mean? I say? But you have a reason upon things. You can't just jump to a conclusion. However, make we dive into the nitty gritty of things right now. Yeah, so, <laughs> alright. Yeah, man, so remember this now, people. We don't establish the, the, the truth and the fact that Vibes Cartel didn't look like himself since the 2000 era, 2003, 2004, and him start bleach, five. Whenever him pick up that style and switch up him whole image and style, remember? Remember that was a big thing in Jamaica. Everybody started talking, it got political, it got this. People were talking about, oh, he might bleach, he might make the people bleach. Remember, he did set the trend. For the new bleaching era in Jamaica. Because once Vibes Cartel start bleach, it become a thing. Him say coloring book, it became a thing. People start color up them skin. Wally put more youth start get tattoo and girls start get tattoo. True, he has been a trendsetter in Jamaica, but not for the best things. Him not, he's not always been a trendsetter for the best, uh, most progressive um, um, you know, doings. Sometimes are the most illiterate, ignorant things where Vibes Cartel said trend for. Things that can damage you in the near future, like drinking too much rum and uh, energy drinks. You see what I say? So, I'm not going to say I'm defending anything where I'm doing at them here. I'm just telling you these are facts that he's been setting these trends. And at that same time, when he was setting these trends for bleaching and coloring, book tattooing, right? He did not look like himself. So, that is all my trifle establishing of people. So, remember this. If he never looked like himself at that time, what that mean? That means, say, uh, you are looking at and thinking about a Vibes Cartel face, right? That was never really even the real face not it, from the get-go. If you never know a cartel from the 90s, before you start bleach, at, at, you know, the Alliance Cartel were dead way before the bleaching era. 
then you won't know what I'm talking about. You'll still be questioning it. So this is now going to make you see, well, maybe this is why when you look upon him now, you, 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 you're kind of like, mm, this not look like cartel. Because number one, 14 years later, 13 to 14 years later, after you are sick, vibes cartel, where you never really even know in the first place, as far as the looks what him did have, that was necessary to look what him did naturally born with. Okay, so just think about it from that angle there. And then for all the people and we believe it's still a clone, I tell you what, man, maybe they do have a couple of cloning facilities in Jamaica. And the USA has started a special program in Jamaica right now where they might take with certain high level individuals when very popular and known and have influence and they don't want them to have any influence anymore. So what they do is, you know, to remove them and put somebody else in place, like them doing at the government with the, with the president them or prime minister them, then remove them, kill them and put somebody else in a place, infiltrate them. So maybe Vibes Cartel thing get infiltrated on a deep level and then take him out of the prison and replace him with a man where, you know, can sound like him, talk like him and drop two rhymes and thing and, you know, imitate him and thing, you know. What wanna say? That could, could be the possibility, eh? Jano. You know, it is a world where we live in. Huh? We don't know because they want to say them clone Tyrone, then clone Jamie Fox, them clone Eminem. Because they say Eminem, I look me, me not tell like the Eminem, I say nowadays, I don't believe say Eminem. It look like a machine. It look like a, a thing will come out of a cyborg um, r robot machine for them build somewhere, somewhere they are foreign. For real. So, yeah, man, you know, maybe if um, Vibes can tell woman I'll tear off all them skin. She good for y'all, see couple, couple, um, machine, Terminator machine, um, parts and thing, you know what I say? Like the Terminator hand or something, you know what I say? So it's crazy right now, people, you know? Yeah, man, so tell, tell, um, vibes, they must say that woman, they have vibes can tell handler to, you know, they must say not even no wife or nothing, just ship them put her there as a handler for the, for the clone, for the robot. And, um, yeah, man, all the things, them couldn't get the, 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 the clone right, so the clone is a change up on them and they try to keep it together. Why well, I mean, don't know people, when you tell me one thing, a crazy, crazy thing, a story I tell a road right now. This kind of reminds me of a Michael Jackson situation. Less friends. And I've learned that a long time ago. Since I've been around Vibes Cartel, like, <coughs> a lot of people used to hate Vibes Cartel, but him stay on top, and I learned that from him. That is why if a Vibes Cartel yet popcorn today, I will forever be on top. Because me learned that from him, me and you we catch up. When the when the news break, not even ten minutes, you know, people are talking about show, show, show. They no remember say man sick. No, can't no, you. in a real life. Sometimes I wonder if them people are really meds, you know. They no remember say man sick. Cartel no. sick, you know. No, cartel already finished skit. Cartel Yo, need... Cartel not ready for nothing in the stage right now. No? Cartel needs six months. Six months, he might need a full year. No, me, no, me not a year. No, work listen is, to me. Work is there to do. Yes, but he, he can put in the work in his studio. No. Me, me not feel like for this year, if you better think about the stage show. But six months next year, what's man? Right, in uh, July, August. You know, six months next year. Right, in, <laughs> because today, 31st, yeah. tomorrow, 1st, August. We like, August, we like, we like, we like seven months. Is I, eight, eight, months I eight months we are going yeah. now. So give me some next year. Yeah, yeah, so like yeah. February or so. Yeah, man. Yo, we just feel like he needs some time for himself. Yo, listen to me. 13 years behind the bars. Man. I can even imagine how fans are going to react when the real cartel come back. It was overwhelming. Really, really good. So, some... Well, I don't know, people. When I see that, I real clone right there. So I just see, you know, him did a long time. Over 10 years ago, they make a clone for cartel. See, so the clone they on the road long time. Okay. Believe that it was cartel. <laughs> a lot of people believe that it was cartel because him look like him for true. Just like him, baby. We even have just like we did at some place, yes. Yeah. But right now we're having debates. I hear people on the radio, people allowing people to call in on the radio, and yeah. people are saying, calling in, oh vibes, cartel have so much power. How can he be behind <laughs> bars and get a privilege to shoot video? Bag of things, right? <laughs> so, oh, it is causing, it is yeah. causing a lot of controversy. Autoimmune disorder affects the thyroid, causing it to produce too much hormone. This leads to symptoms like a swollen neck, bulging eyes, and heart issues. It's the condition that has impacted dancehall artist Vibes Cartel, real name Adija Palmer, during his years in prison. Graves' disease first described by Irish doctor Robert Graves in the 19th century, is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism. So what does Graves' disease do? It speeds up your body's metabolism, causing weight loss, rapid heartbeat, and anxiety. For Cartel, the disease led to his heart losing 20% of its function, putting him at risk of a heart attack. 
The conditions in his prison cell, such as lack of air circulation and water supply, worsened his health. After 13 years in prison for murder, Cartel was released, partly due to his declining health, as noted by the Court of Appeal. His physical changes, like facial and neck swelling, are clear signs of Graves's disease. Despite this, there have been negative comments about his appearance, with people questioning, where is the real cartel? However, this is indeed the real world boss, visibly changed by his condition. What are your thoughts on this health condition? Share your thoughts below on what you think about this. And people are say Shati not doing too well on how she feel bad about cartel release and she not to buy inside, but we don't know about that. <laughs> Okay, let's look at Cartel before him start bleaching an interview about, this is about at least 17, 18 years ago, maybe even 20 years ago. This is a good long time ago, people, before, you know, the, the, the bleak coloring book and all them things that come out, you know, check it out. You know what I mean, because that's what I'm trying to tell Jamaica people, I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer, I get paid to entertain, I'm not a religious leader and I'm not a political leader, you know what I mean, so the, I shouldn't be held responsible for growing a child, responsibility should be held with the parents or adults around the parents, meaning teachers at school, meaning the same driver with themselves, the loud music. You know what I mean? Artists are just entertainers and I put out an adult content. What I do is for adults. Then again, this might be the cake soap era. It shouldn't be directly from Vibes Cartel saying that, oh, you can't do a song that with curse words. Censorship should come from where the song goes in terms of it, it can reach in your house that a little five-year-old can hear it. You know what I mean? So, we don't have any social responsibility as far as I'm concerned with my music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Straight up. All right, so what do you have to say to parents, for example, if you know, a parent saw you on the road and said, you know, I hate you, what would your response be to that parent with them, them thinking or saying to themselves that, you are corrupt them thinking? No, well, I would have to look in, I wouldn't even answer, I wouldn't even, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, dignify that response with an answer because I have kids of my own, you know what I mean, and I'm sure I'm growing my kids in the right and proper way, you know what I mean, they attend good schools. Your kids school listen to your music? Of course. Okay, of course. so ramping shop, for example. Yeah. I mean, how old? How old? I mean, is he young? Five, um, six and four. Six and four. So mm -hmm. you, if you hear your youngest, you know, singing the content of a ramping shop, you wouldn't be offended at all. I never yeah. heard him singing it, you know. But the greatest thing about it, I never heard a teacher at school saying he sang it either. You know, I mean, when I get reports from the school for, about my children, always good reports. You know, I mean, so it's all about how you grow your child. You know what I mean? Because the world is around us and what we do is an expression of the world. Mm -hmm. So if, if the word, the, 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 the D word wasn't actually being used... I think we can say that, in, right? Okay, we can. Okay, now for the fully bleach out era when everybody that's a vibes cartel sell him soul. about the cult? That you're a member of a cult? <laughs> Which, all right, a lot of people say vibes cartel sell his soul to the devil. I'd mm -hmm. like to know how the selling of one's soul to the devil go. Like if you put out an ad in the gleaner saying soul for sale, good condition, you know what I mean? And the devil contacts you, he, he writes a check, or he gives you a manager's check and you change it. I want to know how that goes because that is news to me. I don't know how somebody can sell his soul to the devil. Okay. Does the devil have a bank account? But are you a member of a group of, of Freemasonry? No, I'm not a member of any group of Freemasons, but what is Freemasonry? Nothing is wrong with Freemasonry. Okay. Masons build the earth. That's yeah. so why if you look on a Freemasonry ring, you see the compass and the square. Because that is what built the earth. The earth is built from lines and circles. Do you believe in God? Bob Scartel is a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. So when you say believe in God, if you mean Jesus, I'm not a religious person like that. God in the context of Christendom, of Christianity. No, I don't believe in Christianity. I don't believe in Buddhism. I don't believe in Islam. Because to me, religion is division. It's just one more thing to divide people. Religious wars are the most violent wars in history. And it can be proven with even the recent 9-11 attacks in New York City. That is a religious war. Is there a supreme being in your consciousness? In My supreme being would be life. You know, life is the ultimate because life is ever continuing. That's why the world is a circle. Because anything that is circular is always mobile. Life goes on. Vibes Cartel comes on the earth as kids. Vibes Cartel dies. His kids grow up, have kids. They die and so on and so on. So I believe in life. Mm -hmm. Not in any one religious being or saying Jesus or saying I'm going to be living Buddha, I'm going to be living Allah. You know what I mean? Because when Vibes Cartel travels the world, I've been to Japan, 
billions of millions of people in Japan, they don't know about Jesus. They, 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 they have their own God. So in the Christian view, all of those people, when they die, they would be going to hell. And in the Japanese view, all the Christians, when they die, they would be going to hell. So that in itself alone is confusion. So Rastafari. I say far, Rastafari is a way of life. Rastafari is a way of life that is more acceptable to have somebody like Vibes Cartel. It's not a religion, it's a way of life. So you don't, you don't think it's, it offers the, the spiritual fulfillment that many seek? All right, in life, a lot of people seek answers for a lot of um, things that, that they can't answer. That is why religion is so viable. But viable to who? Mainly to the pastors who profit from the people's faith. Because they say faith is the evidence of things hoped for and the, sub the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That is what people put them life so towards. So those who call and jump are false, are just making noise, this lifestyle, you say? It's just a way of life. It's not a religion in terms of, all right, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. As a matter of fact, remember Rastafari don't even preach death, they preach life eternal. So how can one of life eternal if it is not, as I said it, by procreating? I would like to see a debate with you and some of these religious leaders. I would love it. Tell me why I'm coming now. Yeah, man. So you see, the looks have been different over time. So all you have to do observe people from these clips I've been playing in the video. If you say, say, yeah, man, the man look never look now one way. And I like him, they look just one way over time. The man look changed from the bleaching era, from the baking soda era, the bleaching era. And even after, you know, I say, I get lighter and lighter, and over time I get whiter, and it become a Michael Jackson type thing, you know. You know, I say, remember, someone say, kick swap Jackson, and all them things there. So, when you look into it, people, you know, you can observe and see that he never really looked like himself, even when you were seeing him at first. Yeah, man, Vibes Cartel has changed up his image many times. However, that might make it easier for them clone him, because I let them just, you know, we could take away the real Vibes Cartel, because him, they already had changed up, you know. Yeah, man, so, you know, people. When I really leave in the feedback, we have to do a full reasoning and, you know, think about it from different perspectives and analyze it. So I want to tell me what one thing still. Because enough people have said, yo, they no belief, so I can't tell this. And me can't tell no what to think and believe people. I fool no brain, yeah, ball and everything, people saying. Respect and love, Jano. What more may come from me you now? Pretty girl does a phone's like dummy you now. And the tongues them are rub them down, you know. Nice.